everybody! This week I'm going to be reviewing this hot pink long line underbust corset made by Hot Corsets. So here's the front, the side, the back, and the other side. I do believe that this is the longest underbust corset I have ever reviewed on this channel. The center front of this corset is 15 inches. The uh, length from the underbust down to the lap here is 12 inches, and in the center back, I believe it's about 14 and a half inches. So if you are extremely tall in stature, say you are uh, six feet tall, or if you have a particularly long torso and you find that most uh, long line underbust corsets these days don't quite cover your entire torso, then this might be another good selection for you. I would say that this corset gives a mild hourglass silhouette. So right now I'm wearing the size 24, it's 24 inches at the waist. At the bottom edge here, at the low hips, it's uh, I believe 35 inches. So it gives an 11 inch hip spring. And the underbust here, the rib cage, is about 27 or 28 inches. So it gives, a, I guess, a maximum of four inches of rib spring right here. My natural rib cage comfortably is about 30 inches, so you will notice that I did have a gap in the back. And here is the hot corset laid flat, and it came in this little drawstring bag here, as well as a little baggie with uh, six of these garters or suspenders to go along with the corset. So for the material of this corset, I believe it's two main layers. The fashion fabric is, once again, this hot pink satin, and then on the inside it has this cotton twill. So here's what the Hot Corsets label looks like, and this is a size 24 or medium, depending on what size chart you're looking at, and it has the uh, materials and the laundering instructions there. For the construction of this corset, it's a six panel pattern, one, two, three makes the front, four, five, six makes the back here. And for the assembly of this, it's the welt seed method, which I had described in a video, uh, I think about two weeks ago. So you take the fashion fabric and the lining fabric of panel one, and you sandwich that in between the fashion fabric of panel two with the, the right size together, and the lining of panel two with the, the right size together here as well. You stitch them together, and then you fold panel two over and top stitch it. So it actually has the seam allowance of panel one sandwiched in between the regular panels of panel two and you continue that through the rest of the corset here. And of course it's double boned on the seams here. I don't detect a waist tape in this corset and I emailed the owner of Hot Corsets just to be sure and he confirms that uh, in this particular style there is no waist tape. And here's a close up of the binding made from bias strips of this matching pink satin here, uh, sewn neatly by machine on the outside and on the inside here. On the outside, you can see that it's stitched in the ditch, so you don't see uh, two rows of stitching there, but rather only one. Additionally, there are a total of six garter tabs on the inside of this corset, three on each side. As I showed you before, uh, there was a set of six garters that came with this package. The modesty panel on this corset is six inches wide, finished in the same hot pink satin and lined in the same black twill here. It is unstiffened and it is attached on one side with a row of stitching so you can remove it if you don't like the modesty panel. And there is a modesty placket underneath the knob side of the busk here. It's about, I guess, about an inch and a half wide. So when you have the busk laying on top of that, you have a little bit more than half an inch here to uh, protect your skin or prevent your shirt from showing through when you put the busk together. This busk is about 11 and a half inches long and it has five loops and pins with the last two a little bit closer together here at the bottom for more control over the tummy. It is a standard flexible busk, so it is half an inch wide on each side. It is actually fairly uh, sturdy for a half inch wide busk here. Now there's another about inch and a half at the top here that is not secured with a busk uh, as well as an inch in the bottom there. So if you have a bit of a shorter torso and you need to sit down, then the bottom will 
flip up here and this is not going to uh, poke you or dig into your stern or it shouldn't if this bothers you the way that it sort of comes um, apart a little bit at the very top there you can really easily insert a pair of grommets in there thread a ribbon through and just tie it with a bow this corset has a total of 24 bones, 12 on each side. So like I mentioned before, it's double boned on the seams here with quarter inch wide spiral steel boning here. So you can see two, four, six, eight, ten. And then at the very back here, uh, there are two quarter inch wide flat steel bones sandwiching the grommets. As I had mentioned in a previous video, when you use the welt seam method, it's very uh, quick and clean and easy to construct the corset. And the bones on one side of that seam is going to be protected with up to four layers of material there. So it's unlikely that a bone would pop out um, on this side of the seam. But then on the other side of the seam, it's only two layers of material because there's no seam allowance there acting as almost another layer of protection. So you would have to be careful and make sure that the bones wouldn't pop out of any uh, delicate fabrics like satin. Uh, so far I don't see any poking out of the bones through these boning channels but I will keep an eye on it. And here's a close-up of the grommets. So there are a total of 26 of them, 13 on each side. They're all finished in silver and they are size double zero with a small to medium flange around them. They all seem to be holding in fairly well. They're equidistantly spaced and uh, I don't see any damage or fraying of the satin around these so far. Here's the underside, so you can see washers are on all of them, about the same size as the top part of the grommet. Um, they all seem to be holding in pretty well. I don't see any damage or fraying or uh, any pulling out of the grommets anywhere here. They all seem to have rolled pretty well. There are some splits in these, uh, however, they don't catch on the laces, so it's not a structural issue. And the laces are quarter inch wide, flat black nylon shoelace style laces here. A little bit of spring to them, but they are very difficult to break here. And uh, they glide well through the laces. They don't seem to catch on any splits in the grommets. They hold the bow well. They're long enough. I can get into and out of this fine. And it was actually laced uh, with inverted bunny ears at the waistline here. So that made me fairly happy. <laughs> The long line underbust corset is stocked in hot pink satin like this one and also black. And if you do want some other colors of satin, you can have it special ordered. So it's available on the Hot Corsets website for 50 pounds in the UK, which converts to around $85 in the US. And this concludes my review of the Hot Pink Long Line Underbus Corset by Hot Corsets. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. If you did, please remember to click that like button and help support the channel. If you have any comments or questions about this corset or hot corsets in general, please leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer you or forward your questions over to the company. And I will see you all in a few days for another video. Bye!